So, welcome to this new episode of Coffee Break with Prime Group. I have the pleasure to have with me today Paula. Uh, Paula who will uh, talk with us about burnout. Mm. Burnout, right. Okay. Yeah. So, th this has been recognized as a disease by OMS for quite a few years now. But before we talk about burnout itself, tell us more about yourself and how you came to uh, have some interest in burnout. So, in fact, I, I've worked before uh, in companies like the, the Prime Group. Uh, I, I work with Altran, so I know a lot. Lots of guys work in, in, in this group. But in 2013, something changed in my life. Not because um, I'm not feeling exactly, oh, this is the thing that I want yeah. to do for all my life. But in fact, because my grandmother passed away. Okay. And my mother got a depression. And at that time, I felt, okay, how can I do something for her? And um, at that time, also, I was thinking, okay, I work in IT companies, I'm doing this, but and now, what I really like to do, what is my purpose in this life? Mm -hmm. And so I get, um, I think I get a process of myself, okay, I need to find this. Um, and so I decided to create We Care On. And at that time... That's a nice name. We Care On, yeah. <laughs> At that time, it was something that, okay, it's focused on B2C markets, mm -hmm. so anyone could go to our website and find a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a coach, um, to, to have, in fact, to treat the, their well-being and mental health. At, but during, during this, this evolution, I thought, okay, but uh, in fact, what I did before was, example, uh, I have a company who, who wants to find a programmer or something and I, I, I put these people together. And I, in fact, I was I thinking, okay, I'm doing the same here mm -hmm. at We Care On because I, I have customers who need to find a good professional and, and I, I put this matching. People in contact, yes. Yeah. And I thought, okay, but I work with companies, so a company is a place where there are people and people need to be okay. Mm -hmm. People need to be in, in their best to do their jobs, to be connected with life, to, to be creative. And so I, I thought, okay, let's, let's offer these services to, to companies, um, well-being, mental health, um, programs of mental health. And, um, and for me, it was really good. And what I discovered, because we, we get people from companies, from, from people, people. Yeah. And in fact, I thought we, we discovered that lots of people who came to us asking for help suffer from burnout because they are feeling really exhausted they are feeling yeah, maybe we can define a little bit more what is what is burnout so yeah being exhausting is uh, one I criteria mean, one symptom uh, i mean it's um it's kind of a process because um burnout is when you feel you feel really exhausted okay. uh, mentally physically emotionally i mean and, and you can do almost nothing but to get there I mean, you, you get out in, in burnout just... All of a sudden, yes. yeah. It, it happens because you need to kind of have a process to, to get there. And for example, um, sometimes it starts because you at your work, and let me just define that burnout mm -hmm. is, is um, a disease now, now that really comes from work. So, of course, you feel exhausted when sometimes. You say, when you say work, you mean it's only related to work, not private life. I mean, for example, if you have a private life that in somehow gets you exhausted, it's a thing, it could be depression, anxiety, blah, blah, blah. But what uh, defines, or at least the OMS defines, is that burnout came primarily because it's a, a, um, a working condition. Okay. It starts there. Uh, I mean, it's, it's because you work so much, you have... And I can, I can tell you a kind of phase, because, for example, imagine that you, as a person that works, you do things for now. Everything is, is urgent, mm -hmm. you need to... You are, for example, at night and you can't sleep because, oh, I need to, to go to that email, blah, blah, blah. It's everything that is... Everything the, is urgent. Yeah. Urgent and important. So you're doing that and you, and you start doing that because you think, okay, no, no, I need to do that. Nah, 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 nah. Mm -hmm. And then you forget, for example, from yourself. You forget to for example, take a shower or to heat or to sleep or to, to get with your friends and family because the work is more important than anything and even me. Okay. And then, for example, you start not 
going to meetings because you start to avoid people because you start to, to make lots of mistakes and you don't want to want to feel shame um, and uh, I mean it's kind of a phase so sometimes people come to us in different stages right and um, for example you don't go to meetings because you just prefer to send messages because you don't want to confront the others okay you don't want to confront the yeah. others so maybe you say okay for example in COVID since we are all at home it's a perfect place because I feel here I'm I, I'm not I could not po put my, my camera and blah 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 so yeah and okay. also a, a symptom because I don't want to show myself and um, and then you start to feel really sad because it's growing up and since you're not feeling capable you're feeling cloudy you, you don't have you, you are confused in your mind you don't want you, you don't want how to do things and then you start to feel really sad you start to feel okay my life doesn't make sense I feel a happiness inside me and I mean it's graduating and then you feel pff, completely exhausted you don't know what to do and, and, and when I'm saying that I'm saying that because I also feel, felt that okay um, because in fact I have my son in 2018 oh. and I am the founder of a company so that's a lot of things to do, a lot of responsibilities, Yeah. right? And uh, and what I feel is, okay, but I have tools because I also am a coach. And so I thought, okay, no, I have lots of things that I know and these things that you, you have to apply them to, me. to me, to you. Yeah, but sometimes <laughs> that's a thing because um, having a baby that's, yeah, because it's really attached to me, blah, blah, blah. And I have lots of things to do in my, my company and oh, I, I can I not have people to do my job. And so sometimes, the, the point is that sometimes if you are not really connected, if you are not really connected with what your body is saying, you don't realize what is happening to you. Okay. Sometimes you're feeling really angry with everyone. Sometimes people just say one thing and you, ah! Okay. So, and sometimes people are coming, oh, everything is good with you, what are, what's happening? And you don't understand. So that that means you don't see yourself with the these point. behaviors. That's the point. Sometimes you don't feel, you don't see yourself because you're not connected. That's the point. You're not connected with yourself. Okay. And sometimes uh, can people, you have some kind of denial also? That's the point. Because no, no, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. No, no. You're saying that I don't understand because you're denying that you're, that something is not good. Mm -hmm. or that is not something. It's it's good with you or feeling good with you. And the point is here is that you need to pay attention to you. You need to hear what your, your body is saying, what your behaviors are saying. And that's why it's important in the companies that, for example, the manager or the colleagues are looking for the behaviors because yeah. people are, are changing behaviors and they can tell, hey, and not the, the, the word, ah, everything is okay because here in Portugal, not to buy, mm. because this is not a question, how are you feeling today? It's more, Explain what you're yeah. feeling. How can I help you? Because... But, but if we are in denial, it's maybe difficult to answer that question. Yeah, I know, but but maybe you can you can show, for example, one month ago, usually this thing was done by you, for example, in three hours or four mm. hours, or, or there were not mistakes. And now I, I observe this. Can you tell me a little bit about, about that? What happens to you? Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. In order to people... I, I don't I'm saying that not anyone don't see that but I think it's trying to to show to that person that something is really happening and that you are um, you want really to know you you really want to care yeah, yeah, you want to, to, to judge the person it's just, you know, no no it's not judgment it's just understand it's just yeah. understand yeah. And, and help the, the other person to, to do that and of course when someone is feeling that and say okay no I need to, to, to put a limit and that's the point mm -hmm. because it all started when we don't put limits. Okay. Because when we are in a society, that's the thing, that working is everything. If you don't have a work, <gasps> you're, yes. not, you're nothing. That's right. And that's cultural. And that's why in Portugal, for example, we are the, 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 the country in, in Europe that have more cases of burnout. So how can it be? It's, it's mm -hmm. a cultural thing because maybe your father say, "Oh, if you don't work, you are nothing. If you don't, you're not capable of doing yes, things." Yes, work is really re represents someone. Yes. Yeah. and that's a thing. So um, I think it's something that we all human beings need to 
th that it means that people can accept a lot of things because it's work, and because and I, of this, it, then they can go in this situation. The money, because it, because sometimes people, oh, if I'm going to say no, imagine that you have your eight hours, for mm -hmm. example, fully booked of things, but sometimes ask you another thing. Oh, can you do this? Yes, I can. Can you do this? Yes, I can. And so eight, nine, ten, and you you start to. Okay. So usually, and there are people who are more tendency to do this, or, and other people don't. If you don't put limits. You think that okay, I have, I can do lots of things, because in fact there are something inside mm -hmm. you that you need to fix, right? If you don't put limits, there are things that you need to work so psychologically. So what as you well. mean is you have to know that we all have limits. Yes. And if we, we don't have... fix that limits, mm -hmm. we will go over that limit, and then we take the risk for ourselves for a burnout, right? Yeah, because it, for example, even the time. Uh, for example, here in Portugal, usually we work eight hours a mm -hmm. day. In fact, no, we work more than that. Um, yeah, the brain continues working even after uh, yeah, working yeah, hours. Yeah, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, but but let's say that people work eight hours a day. That is not true. Yeah. Um, but we uh, we have different rhythms. And for example, a person could do this in five minutes. Some people could do this in ten minutes. And we are judging that mm -hmm. the, the one who is doing this 10 minutes and I'm doing so I'm better blah 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 and so this is all a thing that needs to, to change because uh, in fact we are so attached to work we are so attached to money that if we don't have work we don't have money so we think that we really kind of we, we think okay. that we live in scarcity that there is nothing more than than money mm -hmm. Because we live in a society that needs to have. Yes, not to Instead, be, to have. <laughs> yes, that's the thing. Yeah, so it's it's um, it's how we, we live there. And, and, but there are solutions, right? And I, I'm more focused, I, I like to talk more about solutions. Okay, so the, the, the burnout is, is more other people that can show that you're going in the wrong way rather than yourself saying, okay, oh, I'm going in the... No. no? Uh, both? Both, because, I mean, sometimes for example, there are people that are denying, or they are not feeling themselves, but there are people that they know, okay, I'm feeling strange, I'm feeling Dif different, different. From, yeah. I'm feeling different from, for example, last month or blah, 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 because I, I feel pain in my body, I'm not sleeping, I, what, what is happening, mm -hmm. what is changing? And, and sometimes th maybe they are talking and they say, okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to do this anymore or or I need to, to do something different, but sometimes they feel fear of, of yeah. one study that when it came, um, I think this year or past year, saying that 68% of people don't talk about what they're feeling with their bosses, with their, their colleagues, because they feel ashamed or they feel or, fear or, or, of... Or it's of a weakness. Yeah, because they okay, ah, you're feeling sad or you're feeling angry, mm. so, oh, I'm going to, it, it kind of... It's not the place at work, it's not the, the right place to talk about feelings, emotions... Oh, but why? Right? Because we, we are yeah. all, we are people, we feel everything. We feel at work, we feel at home, we feel at sleep, so we feel all the time. And that's the thing, so 68% of people don't do that. So that's the thing, because for example, if I'm feeling, oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling tired, I'm feeling sad because something happened, not in, at work, but mm -hmm. at, my, at, my, at my place, and I'm capable to talk with my boss, for example, with my, my leader. Oh, today I'm not feeling good, so I need maybe to, to, to go earlier at home or, or to don't do this job, but I'll do it tomorrow. It's okay for you. It's a question, it's not that you're yeah. set or not, but, but people usually don't do that because they think, okay, if I'm going to say that, or maybe they, they'll not trust me anymore, they are, I'm, if I, they, they are going to, yeah. to, to fire myself, or whatever. So it's kind of... Yeah. You're, you're putting thi thi thinking, 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 you're overthinking, and then you don't do things, you don't push, put your limits, and that's the thing. Okay. Before we go for uh, solutions, we have some questions for you. Yeah, go. Let's discover the, the question from the question jar. You can pick oh, one. Oh, so funny. <laughs> I have to say I don't know the questions, <laughs> so I discover the questions with you. How should I approach my leadership if I'm feeling burnout? out? Oh, it's kind of almost what I said. Um, so, if I'm I'm feeling burnout or it, in, because if if instead of I think this can 
first instead of, of getting there because I don't need to get there. Mm -hmm. I need to, first I need to, to be more connected with me. If something is not going well or if I, I don't like something, I need to, to tell them and I'd say, okay, do you have a moment I need to, to, to say something? And what I, what I feel is really important is communication. Communication, communication, communication every time. And I, I need to trust myself. And I need to, I need to, okay, I have fear. Okay, I have fear. I go with my fear. I go with my fear, but say, okay, I have fear of having this conversation. I, I could be, I could say that. I have fear of having this conversation with you because I, I think that you're going to fire me or whatever. But I need to say this. Today I'm not feeling good. Or I didn't like that I, I have this amount of, of work to do because I'm not feeling capable now. Can I, uh, can I do this with another colleague? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and maybe next week I'll be better and I, I'll come another, uh, another time with my energy or blah, blah, blah. But if I don't say things, I, I cannot expect that people, I mean, I cannot put the responsibility on others to fix my life mm -hmm. or to fix me or to, 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 to resolve things. I need to be clear on what I need to, okay. to do or, or what I need. But talking about leaders, um, leaders probably have the, the impression or the feeling they have to be perfect, hmm. they have to know everything, they yeah. cannot show any weaknesses. But why Why is that? Because Well, that's that maybe just a prejudice. Yeah, but if I am a leader and if I, I put that mask, or if I don't, for example, if I don't feel or if I don't express what I'm feeling, mm -hmm. Now I'm creating a space where my, my colleagues can also express their feelings, for example. It's like the game who wants to start and nobody wants to start. But, no, but, but the, I the leader doesn't the want to start and showing weaknesses, so others do the same. And yeah, but I mean, I think anyone can start, but maybe we, we see the, the leaders, the ones who, who can go in front. And so if I am a leader and I want to create a space of consciousness mm -hmm. of secure space where people can come and say this is not good or this is wrong or I'm not feeling good I'm feeling angry or something happened in my house blah 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 this is not what happened because people people have the the belief that oh I cannot talk or I cannot express myself if for example I give you a, a, a small example for example when we start a meeting mm -hmm. instead of okay how many interviews have you done, how many blah, 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 how many business have you done this week, blah, blah, blah. Okay, tell me a little bit, how are you feeling today? How are you feeling now that you're coming here? Are you sad? Are you... Tell me a little bit more about you. For example, myself and start. Today I'm feeling sad because my, my kid is, mm -hmm. is sick or I'm angry because uh, something is happening in my life. What a difference, right? If yeah, that's a huge difference, a huge evolution in the leader's mindset also. Yeah, but... Because but we, we want people, we want strong people, right? But, but what is strong? That's a good uh, <laughs> good question. Strong is someone who is, who, is, who is vulnerable, because being vulnerable, it's the people is, is whole. But the way we are educated, mm. we are grown up, that's, that's a thing. It's like, a cultural like, thing. Especially, especially with, for, for males, for example. Yeah, like we, we are Ma said. Men don't cry, men don't exactly. cry. That's a thing. Oh my God. D did you ever cried in your life? Of course I do. Of so course. good. I'm happy like, for you. I like I'm happy for you. And, and I'm happy mm -hmm. because, in fact, myself, I was educated not, not, not to cry. And I, I need to cry a lot because I have 45 years of not mm -hmm. crying. And if I cry, of course, I'm, I'm dealing with all my things, and the things good. that I need to let go. Yeah. But for but, some people, it's just impossible, right? Mm, because they have a belief that crying yes. is not good. And so that's why... And then one day... They and I'm laughing now. That's why it exists yeah. so we carry on. Because we are changing that. We want to, to change people to, to accept and to access to their feelings. And, and, and seeing that as a normal thing. It's not bad. It's not... It's, it's energy. I feel things. Feeling is, is natural in human beings. So the point is that, and I think for me it's really important because when I, I do trainings and when I do things with managers, it's important for me to show them that fear is good because it's that creates mm -hmm. um, space for putting limits. Sadness is good because it's that, the thing that connects you with what you feel 
and what you need to let go. And fear is good because it, it manages you to, to, to create new things, blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's nothing wrong because usually you say, oh, so just happiness is good. Like you need to, to, to put things down because, mm. but it's not, it's not like that. And do you see an evolution in the last years? Um, of how the, the, the companies are mm. handling with that. Because okay, we can talk about companies, they, have, they, are, they care about the well-being of their, of their employees, but also it has uh, financial uh, consequences when people are stopping uh, working. Mm, that's the thing, because for example, I think in, in the last year, especially after COVID or during COVID, mm -hmm. more companies are coming to us saying, okay, uh, we, we want to offer you know, appointments or psychological appointments to our employees blah 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 and this is, is evolution because when i started my company and i knocked on lots of companies no, oh, that's no. not our business no <laughs> we are all okay so we don't need psychologists here yeah. that's the usually okay. the thing we are it's all okay super, uh, but not for me <laughs> yeah um or we don't need coaches blah 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 whatever and now it's good because they think that okay we need we need to offer this because they, they, they see that they realize that is, something happening. is changing yeah. but for example regarding burnout there are still a huge difference because for example uh, we can else we can imagine that you you offer um, consulting or appointments mm -hmm. with psychologists but and come lots of people with burnout but that person don't feel that okay I'm feeling this but I cannot change my company and what we do differently is that the company we propose, culture. Yeah. So what we we propose to the companies, and not not everyone are doing this, is we we need to do a program for recovering that person because if we are not recovering, mm -hmm. and meaning that okay, if, uh, for example, one person in your team has burnout, so our team is going to talk, we, we is going to recover that person, their feelings, yeah. blah blah blah, but they're also talking with the manager, talking with the persons that are in charge with the HR. Everyone, in order to see that, okay, the company and the, the cause, the real cause of what makes yes, this the happen. the root cause is treated. Yeah, otherwise, okay, because sometimes what happens, we are treating that person and sometimes that person goes out because, okay, I'm not, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm getting... For some reason it doesn't work, so... So, I'm going to... And, but the root cause of the problem is still here yeah. and it will replicate so people, to other people. Yeah. yeah, and so people stay there, burn out there, and people leave. Instead of fixing the things in the company, and because every for every person that leaves, you need to hire another one, you need to have more costs. Instead of fixing the things, instead of having a whole system of... Um, of well-being in the company that's the thing so that's what I, so i'm that's, saying that, to the company that's that, a big challenge you have right yeah because when we we are talking with the companies to have well-being mm -hmm. it's not just massages and blah 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 or ping pong or whatever <laughs> i mean this, this is that. good okay i'm not saying that it's not good but this is a holistic thing yes. it's it's looking the thing at because everyone in the company deserves something and the, the the needs are different, so let's let's hear everyone and see what is good for 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 everyone. And work a lot leadership, work a lot communication, work a lot time management. Those things that in fact create this. That's a nice conclusion of how to handle this uh, new disease. Well, not so new, in, but uh, new, newly recognized. Uh, yeah, yeah, because the and, OMS yeah. recognizes yeah. Um, just a few years yeah. back. So as a problem that it's it's came from the thank you very world. much Paula for uh, all this information and your passion talking about it yeah thank you for watching us remember to subscribe on our channel to see more videos bye 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 thank you